Master went with Sri Yukteswar to Kashmir. There, in Srinagar, they saw this temple dedicated many centuries ago by the great Swami Shankaracharya. Seeing the temple, Yogananda fell into an ecstatic trance. A vision appeared, he wrote, of a hilltop mansion in a distant land. Years later, this building was to become the headquarters of his worldwide mission. Many were the centers the great master was to found, and many the disciples he awakened in God during his 32 years in America. The Master's mission began with the founding of a small school for boys in the village of Dihika. This was the school building. A year later he moved the school to Ranchi. Following the educational ideals of the ancient rishis, Yogananda wrote, I arranged that most of the class instruction be given out of doors. This is the lake where master and students went the day he foretold Kashi's early death. Serpentine Lane, where Master discovered that Kashi was to be reborn. The former storeroom, where Yogananda saw in vision a panorama of Western faces. God was calling him to begin his mission to the West. We see here the building being dedicated as a permanent shrine. The Master's bedroom at 4 Gurpa Road where Babaji came to him to bestow his blessings on the young missionary's voyage to the West. The Shankaracharya of Kanchipuram, a leading religious figure in India, said of Yogananda's mission in the West, I met Yogananda in Calcutta in 1935. I have been following his activities in America ever since. As a bright light shining in the midst of darkness, so was Yogananda's presence in this world. Such a great soul comes on earth only rarely when there is a real need among men. Rising once again 
How oft hereafter rising shall she loom Through this same garden after me in vain.